Hi everyone, it's Dr. Hallis here, board certified facial plastic surgeon, and I'm here with Nurse Eric in my practice. And I wanted to share with you guys what we do here. I've seen a lot of people have mixed feelings about should they be doing radio frequency devices? How does that work on the face? What do you think? So what are the targets? What are we talking about? We're talking about the aging process. We're talking about skin changes. We're talking about volume changes. And we're talking about gravitational changes. Mm -hmm. You really want to balance everything that we're doing. I was just talking about with lasers and energy based and radio frequency is the same. We are going to cause a reaction. And we want to control and understand what we're doing. Right. And with radio frequency devices, they really come in all shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. You know, radio frequency can be great because unlike lasers, they're a little bit more uniform. But it really matters how you're delivering it. And of course, the whole situation. Your provider really has to be assessing you when yes. you're doing this. The radio frequency, we can deliver it, deliver it topically, like a nice warm hot stone massage. <laughs> Superficial. And that's a good place to be because we really want to see if the changes in, in the surface of the skin. Superficial. Superficial. Mm -hmm. And there we're safe, but again, it's all parameters. The components have to go together. When we use something like an Exion, the superficial face applicator, mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're, we're really trying to target collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid in that superficial layer of skin. Yeah. And it's really important here that all of the technologies that we work with and, and we ourselves do the research on are delivering a safe, measured at all levels and reliable and effective results. Yeah, it's like minimally but targeted, so you're getting exact results that you like. I feel like we see that a lot in practices like ours, that you just spend a lot of time with education and really understanding what you're actually doing. Because that way, you're getting the best result for the patient, and then even when the patient needs surgery too, and if you need some synergistic work, it's targeted in a way that you're getting the best result from everything. Absolutely, it's, it's, it's amplifying the best we have from our bodies, and doing no harm. Yes, that is that is a huge thing. I think that's what I've seen people worry about so much is are they gonna do harm? And then if they've done it already, did they already do harm to their face? And I think what is really important is to educate that it is possible to do harm, but we standing with an educated and professional uh, provider who is ethically doing these treatments, it will create results that we want without doing that harm. Absolutely.